Hey there, welcome to another Tableau video. I'm going to show you something called ranking, and ranking basically ranks, right? If you have a list of values, it just ranks them from lowest to highest. And the reason I want to teach this today, or really tonight, it's almost midnight, uh, is because I had a friend of mine at work who's trying to figure this out, and we eventually figured it out using the ranking. So let me show you what it means. Let's say I have some data, right? And the data looks like this. Uh, this one is just one, two, three. So it's just really like a primary key. So I've got categories. So I've got vehicles here, high locks, whatever. And there's five different vehicles. Actually, I should just show you in a filter. All right? I've got five different vehicles, as you can see. And then in each vehicle, there's five subcategories. So if I come in here, right, you got these ones. So it's like five by five in terms of the possible combinations, right? So what I've done is I've introduced that into Tableau. Okay, pretty basic. And if I grab category and bring it bring it here, and then I grab subcategory, then I add that position value, right? Let's drop that in there. Okay. Right. I got my numbers as you'd expect, so nothing crazy. And then I want to sort this. So if I can if I sort it using this, right? And then let's just add some color so you can see the divide. Okay, what you'll notice is it's sorting for each one. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a random value here. Uh, one to a thousand. Okay, let's paste. Just so we have something interesting to actually play with. All right, let's save that. And then let's just refresh this. So I've got that value in there now. And let's get rid of position and let's put that one in there. Okay. Oh, wait, I just put the same one back in. Hang on, value, right, in here. Now if I sort this, right? But what I really want is for them to still be split up and then go from highest to lowest, but like still together, right? And what I mean by that is I want it to be, uh, for example, no, I can't do it that way. Let's say I go create calculated field and I bring category and subcategory in there. All right, let's add that. So let's just go category and sub. Okay, let's get rid of these two. I want it like that, okay? But let's say for some reason I don't want them together like this. I still want them split. Right, because I may need that for some sort of feature. And my mate did. Okay. So what you can do instead is use the rank formula. So let's bring back what we had before. Let's go category, subcategory. I got that. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the sum value, right? Just holding control on my keyboard. Then I'm going to right-click on one of them, go quick table, and change this to rank. And what that does is if I add this to the label, it just ranks them from highest to lowest in the entire set. Okay. So one, this is the lowest value, whatever is the highest, 25 is the highest value, okay? Then what I want to do is I'm going to move this one down here, okay? Don't worry about that. I'm going to right-click on this. I'm going to go discrete, okay? So now that they're discrete values right here, okay? Then I'm going to move this to the beginning, okay? So now I've got them as individual ones, right? So that's just one application of rank. Um, you can use it for heaps of other things, right, in terms of like plotting. But this was the one that we were just trying to solve today. So I thought it'd be a good lesson to do. So that's pretty much it. Just a short one today. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.